Neil, how's Leon leg train this week? Uh, Leon's, yeah, he's. We, we just started him off very slowly uh, at the start of the week, but uh, he's trained today, and obviously he's got a session tomorrow. But um, if he comes through that all right, then obviously he'll be in contention for Saturday. Have you missed him as much as you thought you would? Uh, well, we did miss him in the in the Stoke game. Yeah. Uh, you would say at times on Saturday we could have done with his head and prowess uh, at Morecambe, especially against that when we were against the wind and uh, under the cosh a little bit with the corners and set pieces. But um, you know, he's he's a player that's done well for us this year. But um, you know, we the, I wouldn't blame put any fault on the on the centre halves really who, who play on Saturday. We've spoken lots about taking the pressure off Tom Pope with various signings, but he's now got two to go until 100. What does it say about how key he still is, whether you want to take the pressure off him or not? No, nothing's changed since I've been here. He is key. Um, he's still the he is the the main player for us. Um, he's done fantastically well since I've been manager, and um, I, you know I like having him in the team, and you want him in your team, and. Um, you know, he takes all, he takes all the boxes, um, and I, I want to see him continue scoring goals. How far down the line are you? Maybe taking the pressure off him a bit with some signings in January. Um, I think everybody has got their own opinion, um, but I think we're all experienced enough sat around this table to know that um, you're not going to come and get um, a, a proven goal scorer is just going to fall out of the air uh, on your lap that nobody wants. What can you tell us about somebody you've been linked with in the press this week, Mark Sykes? Um, I'd rather talk about him when he's signed, or if he's signed. So it's, it's still an if at the moment, not a win? Well, just because you've agreed the, uh, a fee doesn't mean that um, you've signed the player. And um, until he's signed, then there's no point for me talking about him. Is that what it has to be like in football, though? When, you, when you're trying to sign a player, try and keep it as in-house as possible and not count your chickens before they're hatched? Well, I would prefer that we'd only talked about him when we'd signed him, but you know, there's obviously a, a situation where the more clubs are interested in him, it's a chance for his, his own club to, to maybe get uh, a better fee. So you understand from their point of view that uh, they made it public. Um, and until a player's actually signed, then he, he, he hasn't signed. So. Uh, there's no point in talking about them because at the moment we, we haven't seen them. Well, you're on an unbeaten run going into the Christmas period, so long before the transfer window even opens. How big a chance is this now for you to, to, to go on a real run rather than the mini one you're on at the moment? Uh, we have absolutely no chance if we play like we did on Saturday. We won't go on a, we won't go on a run less than one game if we play like we did on Saturday. Um, and that's unfortunately where we're at um, because the players are inconsistent. And sometimes they let themselves down, which which they did on Saturday. And you know we. That's why uh, to get a run of form going, and the the better teams in the league, they are consistent. And that's why. You know they they do well week in week out, and we haven't um, attained that sort of consistency. If you were to pick and choose which games you look at though, and you were to look at the Yeovil one instead, if the team could play to that level. How potentially good are they? Uh, no, I wouldn't. To be honest, I wouldn't get up or down about the the, the team. They, even when they play badly, I don't believe there's a, a a lack of desire or a will to do well. I think they are an honest bunch of players. Um, I think I've said before. I think the modern day player can be influenced by social media. I think they can believe sometimes what they read um, but if you've been in the game a long time you know that you have to earn that earn that respect you have to earn that um, um, the, the mantle or whatever you call it that goes with with being a good consistent player and that's done over a period of time so until the players perform um, regularly at that level then I, I don't think you can you know go overboard about them but by the same token when they play bad I don't think you can be slagging them off too much because, you know, there's a lot of a lot of teams in the league who are probably saying the same same things. Cheltenham here next. What are you expecting from that particular fixture? 
Uh, watched them play a couple of times. Uh, they've got better, I would say, since the season started, and uh, they're now happy with the with the formation they're playing and with the team they have. And they had a good win at Notts County a few weeks ago when it was a bit of a pressure game. Um, and like I say, they caused problems to a lot of teams lately. They're no different to any team in the league. Um, there will be a test for us, and um, you know we have to, w without worrying about any team, we have to try and get our own levels of performance up. And if we do that, then we can give everybody a good game. But but certainly, if we don't compete like we the Swindon game in the first half, and certainly on Saturday, then that's not going to be good enough to get any points at this level. And do you have a bit on Mitchell Clark for us? What's the situation there? Yeah, he's Mitchell's come back. He's trained with us this week, so again, he's he's in the squad for Saturday. That said, at the same time, he's in the squad. What have you made of how James Gibbons is done covering at the same time? Uh, I think James, he, he came into the team, difficult game, which no matter what anybody says, the Stoke game, and when you're a local lad, it's it's a, it's a difficult game. But I thought um, he, he acquitted himself well. I think on Saturday. Um, the team in general was poor. Um, I don't think anybody, well, apart from maybe the goalkeeper, uh, I don't think anybody was at their best. Um, but like I say, we've got a couple of options, and of which James is, um, is, you know, an option as well.